So I took this page from literal zero traffic to 240 in just 24 hours. Now it's dropped down back a bit, but now it's up again uh, because I managed to get it back up again to the 240 level. Now I'm gonna show you what we did, what the page is, and most importantly, why this number isn't really relevant. What's most relevant is the keywords the page ranks for. Because as you know, right, traffic is a vanity metric. All these people searching for this, well, it could just be super top of the funnel traffic. People searching for stuff that when they land on my page, they're not really interested in buying something. But the page we created, the intent of the page and the keywords it ranks for is super bottom of the funnel. Meaning the people searching for this want to actually commit the action for the keyword they search for. So it's all about search intent, not so much the traffic. Hopefully this makes sense. We have a bunch of our competitors that have more traffic than us, but even though we have less traffic, the keywords we rank for, right, give us traffic that's much more funnel down, more, much more bottom of the funnel, i.e. much more ready to buy. Hopefully this makes sense. And before I dive deep into this, let me just give you an example that I give to everyone, right, which you've probably heard before, which is the iPhone repair shop example. Again, I'll show you the page in a minute, uh, but let's say, for example, I have an iPhone repair business, right? People come into my website and then they come into my shop. Now, my site can rank for keywords like how to repair an iPhone, but it can also rank for keywords like, for example, where to repair an iPhone or how much does it cost to repair an iPhone, right? The keyword how, let's say it has, for example, 10,000 searches a month, okay? And the keywords where and how much only have like 1,000 altogether. Now, you might think that it's smarter to go and target this keyword. Well, the reality is that it's not, right? I have a business that repairs phones for people. So why would I need or why would I want people to come into my site for the keyword how? Someone searching for how, they want to do it themselves, right? Well, someone searching for where or how much, well, most likely they were looking, they're looking for someone to do it for them. Okay, so even though these have less traffic, the buying intent, right, the intent behind the keyword is so much higher than on this one, right? So here's a perfect example of traffic being a vanity metric, right? It's not just about the traffic, it's about the intent of the traffic, okay? Now, without another way, let me just show you the page and how you can do it. So the page is a page that ranks for the keywords, an AI my text, an AI my text, how to an AI text. Basically, in essence, we built this page with a little free tool down here, right here, which people can use and click an AI text, right? Uh, with basically a blog post with a video embed. Super simple, right? Anyone can do this, okay? And it ranks for these keywords. Now, someone looking for an AI my text, right? This is an action. They want to an AI their text, right? Someone searching for this, well, they've written a text, they know what AI is, they know or they think AI content is bad, and they want to change it, they want to humanize it, right? They want to NAI it, if that makes sense, right? And so we've been capturing super bottom of the funnel content with a high, high buying intent. By buying intent, I mean people actually actively looking to do a certain action, okay? And they land on, them, they land on this page, excuse me, let me just go back to the, the traffic of the page, right? Again, 240 right now, right? It's going up again. Uh, and they land on this page, right? And they just actively use the tool. Okay, pretty straightforward. Now, what I wanna tell you in this video is two things. The very first one was about the intent of your traffic. Make sure you're not just looking at the traffic number. Look at the intent, right? And then how you can build a tool like this. And before I show you how to build a tool like this, it's super simple. This right here is done with AI, right? People say AI content doesn't rank. That's a lie, right? AI content actually ranks. Because again, Google doesn't care who or what writes the content. The only thing they care about if it's set, if, is if excuse me, it satisfies the user's search intent. If it's a human, a dog, a dolphin, a robot writing it, they don't care, right? The only thing they care for is that if the content is high quality, in other words, if it satisfies the user's search intent. And I recorded a video like two days ago or one day ago talking about this exact thing because people seem to think that AI content is bad and AI content doesn't rank and Google doesn't like AI content. That's, that's, not, that's not true. Right? I made this video like a couple hours ago, I think. So you want to run talking about this exact same thing, talking about Google doesn't really care and showing proof that AI content actually ranks. And so this page right here, even though it's getting a ton of traffic, I don't believe in this. I don't believe in searching for an AI, but still I'm capturing the intent because I know people care for this. And then, then when they click on AI and they watch the videos, right, and they watch this video right here, they actually understand that, okay, Google doesn't care. So then they go out and use my tool, which is called Journalist AI, which also generates AI text for them. So even though I don't believe, and I don't agree with people searching for this stuff and all this traffic, I don't believe people should be searching for this. I'm still capitalizing on this traffic, right? And still leaving them what they want, but then explaining them, hey, listen, Google doesn't care if your content is AI or not. They don't care. And then they go out and use my tool for it. And again, this is done with AI. This exact test is done with AI. 
And I even did the quick one right here. I, I, I generated an article with the title, how to AI my text for free. And this is all the AI from the images to the text, right? The, there's even internal links to my site, external links, right? There's even in article videos, right? This video talks about how to humanize a written content. So this is not a, a random video. This is a relevant video taking into account the context of the article as a whole. I talk about AI humanizing and AI, uh, and AI in text, okay? Even images with text right now with AI can write, uh, write, write text inside of the image. And so again, this is all done with AI and I can just hit publish and push this to, straight to my site. And if there's something I don't like, right, I can just click here, edit with AI, because our goal with, with building this tool was not just to allow you to generate AI content. We want to give you the ability to edit AI content. You can just delete all this and import your content here and edit it if you want. So, so you don't even need to, need to use journalist AI for it. But I can take this and say, mm, I want to add a couple links here. And the AI will read through the text and find the best places to add external links to. Now, yes, you can do all this manually, but why would you when you can just use AI to do it for you, right? There you go. Uh, let's say, for example, I think this looks better in a, a list because I think my readers will like will read it better in a list. Boom, there you go, list out of it. Let's say, for example, I want to make it, uh, I want to add keywords, add the keyword uh, AI text, add the keyword an AI my text. So the AI, you can put your keywords here in here and the AI will sprinkle in your keywords into the paragraph or the whole article if you'd like, okay? You can hit, say it, um, write this as, or tailored for an SEO nerd who understands all the tech SEO terms. Right? You can tailor your article with these custom prompts. You can simplify it, make it longer, make it shorter, make a list, make a table. You can even take the images right here and say, for example, mm, add a dog, and the AI will add a dog to the image. So taking into account the context of the article, the image that, that, that's there before with the photo, with a computer on a table, and try to make it add a dog in there in the, without losing this, the context of the image and the article. Now, in this case, it might not make much sense because how is, going to, how is he going to add a dog on a table? So there you go. So this doesn't really make much sense, but again, he kept the computer, added a dog, right? So you can change things around if you don't like them, right? Then you can just hit publish and publish it straight to your site and have an article just like this, ranking and getting all this traffic, right? Now, second thing is, okay, you get the traffic, that's great. How do you capitalize on that traffic? How do you make money on that traffic? Because the whole goal isn't to look at this number and say it's pretty. The whole goal is to transform this number into actual dollars, right? And the way we're doing it is with this, lead magnet right here, right? A, a, a little tool, they can click and then they can use it, right? Which I think then redirects to my site, right? Um, so what you can do with this is you go here to journalist AI lead magnets, hit create a lead magnet. Let's say um, my AI magnet, okay? And now you're gonna give it a prompt. Okay, let, for, actually, first let me just show you, for example, one lead magnet that I, that I did for like a local business, right? So you can take this and you can embed it in your site. Let's say, for example, you're a plumber, a local business, right? And you want to have the ability to, when people come to your site, right, give, giving them a quote. So people say, my toilet is clogged, how much do you charge to fix it? Get quote, so this is embedded in your site and it says, for clogged toilet, quality plumbing charges 100 to 200 dollars. We typically repair this in one or two hours. Right? This is based on the prompt I said, give the user quote based on his input. Be extremely concise, give value in dollars. My company is called, boom, company name, give them a price range as well as a time to fix. Right? I had the input placeholder right here, which is what appears right here, so people know what to, what to type, and then the button get quote. So you can, you can embed, embed excuse me, these little tools on your site, on your homepage, your contacts page, your blog pages, to interact with your audience. On top of that, you can even collect emails like this, like this and say, uh, have us call you. Save changes. Now, if I do this again, right, uh, now it will give me the answer, right, the, the cost and the, the, the money, and then give me a call to action. Hey, have us call you. If you put in your email or your phone number, they, the guy, they put it here, right, click sign up, and the leads will all get added to this lead form right here. So you get what I'm getting at. So you can build these little tools as well, right? For example, again, if I go back here, say lead magnets, like six, to my, my main one again. So my AI magnets, and let's think about a prompt. Let's say, for example, give the user a list of keywords with high buying intent they could be targeting for their SEO strategy based on their niche. Be concise, be extremely concise, okay? Um, keyword, or actually business niche, okay? Get high buying intent keywords. There you go. We'll not, we'll not collect emails for now unless it's create. Well, again, I can take this literal thing and just copy the code right here and embed it into this page or any other page I create. I can do how to high buying intent keyword generator. And I might actually do this, for example. So high buying intent keyword generator, I, I, I use journalists here to generate the blog post, okay? And then I just 
paste in here the code and embed this into my site. And I have this exact page, but for the title, how to come up with high buying intent keywords or high buying intent keyword SEO generator. And I do the exact same thing. I get all this traffic that's super high buying intent because again, they're looking, they know what high buying intent keywords are. They're looking for a generator, right? All this makes sense. Hopefully you're, you're, you're catching what, I, what I'm telling you right here. But let's give it a go. Let's test it out. Right? Let's go here to business. Let's just do, for example, uh, plumber in NYC. Boom, get high buying intent keywords, right? But again, the AI is taking a look at the prompt you give it. There you go. Here are some high buying intent keywords for the niche plumber in NYC. All these are high buying intent, right? Pipe installation, so for example, the issue installation in the location, all in location near me, right? All these might work great. Again, I, I could have spent a bit more time on the prompting, but you get my point. I can literally just embed this right here into an article that I can generate with journalist AI. So I go here, generate articles. I just do uh, high buying intent I buying intent keyword generator. So this will be the title, SEO keyword generator. There you go. And then we could do the main keyword B. There you go, you get my point. Add keywords and then I can, I can generate the article and do the exact same thing I did here, right? For this other keyword and then make it interactive with my, my audience by building these uh, lead magnets. Again, you can add any prompt you want, you can customize this, and again, you can collect emails to then reach out to the people, remarket them, call them, whatever you want, okay? So that's it, that's basically what we did, literally. From zero to one, how, do, how we got the traffic from zero to hit right here in 24 hours, and then it went down a bit, but then we push it back up again. That's it, that's simple. If you wanna give this a go, give, I'll leave a link down below in the description for this. Try journalist.com, and if you wanna get a paid subscription, before you do that, go here to help and support, click contact support and say, hey guys, I want a coupon code. I came from this video and Vasco told me I could get a coupon code. The guys will hook you up with a coupon code. Now, if you want more SEO training, you can go to our academy. You just go to tryjoins.com forward slash academy and you'll have access to this exact software for free for 12 months, okay? On top of that, you get access to, and let me just scroll past all these results from people in the academy. You get access to our SEO community where I do weekly live calls, one-on-one -on -one SEO consulting with me, you get, once access, you get one time access to that and SEO Q&A sessions, plus seven SEO courses, plus an exclusive plugin. So all these courses, how to rank videos on YouTube course, so YouTube video SEO course, link building course, which by the way, the links I teach you how to build on this, on this course right here are worth around $300 each. And how do I know? Well, it's because I sell these exact links for around that price. Then you get the rank and rent SEO course, plus the plugin for WordPress, e-commerce SEO course, and a bunch of like case studies detailed step-by-step -step on how these businesses are growing their uh, their SEO. Again, to sum it up, it's all down here, right? Again, plus 12 months access to journalist AI with, of course, a 100% money back guarantee, okay? And these are all the results from people implementing this strategy. For example, this guy right here grew a, grew a site from zero to 10K a month, dollars in three months. He's in the, he's in, in, in the Spanish niche, so an international niche. E-commerce store, 60% more sales. Timo right here owns an agency as well as this guy right here. He's seeing impressive results with using the software. Um, Abby right here, uh, Managing clients in 60 days, a 20K month local business. This guy went from zero to 10K a month <laughs> in just a few weeks. I think, yeah, they're a jewelry company. We just built a couple links to them, the links that I teach you how to build on that course. 2X traffic in 90 days, zero to 6K SEO traffic in a couple of weeks, 3K to 10K in 90 days. Uh, this guy, right, we built 29 backlinks to him, right? The exact links I teach you how to, on how to, so, excuse me, the exact links I teach you how to build on the course that you have to get at the academy, the traffic just skyrocketed from around 400 to 1600. Just 29 backlinks. Uh, ranking sites in 10 minutes with Parasite SEO. I mean, there's a bunch of stuff. Forexing the traffic for a personal brand. Eight-figure tech companies, this is like a bank. They actually bought another bank for 35 million euros, right? They're using this exact software as well. So billion dollar companies, actually, let's just do 10-figure companies are using the exact software you can now use, right, to do the same thing. Here's a FinTech from South America. Zero, 3K, 90 days. I mean, there's, the results are just endless. And again, you get access to the software for 12 months. So a full year access to the software can do a lot of damage. Uh, with all the updates and all that stuff, of course. And again, the community, weekly live calls, one-on-one -on -one consulting with me, and all these actionable SEO courses. So yeah, give it a go. I mean, you can either just buy a subscription for, try, for Journalist AI, or you can just get this for a full year, plus all the training right here. So I'll leave, this will be the second link in the description and also in the pinned comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and give me a comment down below because I'll choose one of you in the comments to give a free subscription to the Academy. So thanks so much and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.